In telling the story of one of its most distinguished wartime leaders, Fleet Admiral Chester W. Nimitz. The Nimitz story is not simply the account of an outstanding naval officer who rose to a position of greatness and honor. It is also the chronicle of our modern Navy, its coming of age and its greatest triumph in the epic struggle for the Pacific during World War II. Uh, this is a project that's been underway for quite a while, and the, the true significance of it is, is a connection of the history of the Navy during one of the most important parts of, uh, of the very definitions of the freedoms that we have today, back to that period of World War II, where Chester Nimitz was involved in the planning and the actual execution of uh, how the war was fought in the Pacific. The Gray Book is an amazing historical treasure. It's a rare, very rare survival of the decision-making by the top leadership in the Pacific. Admiral Nimitz looked at this every day, records every day the situation that he faced. It has his orders, it has the intelligence that he had in front of him, uh, it has the movement of the fleet units, uh, everything brought together in a very succinct way uh, so that he could make a decision about it and know exactly what the fleet was doing. The highest level of decision making in combat was something called the running estimate of this situation. And that's what this document is. It's, to my knowledge, just the only one uh, that survived uh, anywhere from, the, from this period of actually being used in combat. I think in closing, the, the significant takeaway message here is that I would invite everybody to visit the new Naval Historical Collection website examine the Nimitz Gray Book, not necessarily to find a key to unlock some hidden treasure, but more view it as an account of the events as they unfolded. Try to see it as Nimitz saw it, with all the engagement of a fleet admiral, uh, drawing out the truth and sharing what you find with others. Uh, and we do this with the hopes of enlarging our understanding of what the Gray Book means and, and, and what our perspective of what this great book is all about. As a military history buff myself, I cannot wait to dig into this online, and I encourage every sailor, Marine, Navy, civilian to check it out. Under Admiral Nimitz's leadership, the war in the Pacific turned in America's favor. And today, our naval presence in the Indo-Asia Pacific helps maintain an international system well-established norms that promote security, stability, prosperity, and peace. Working closely with allies and partners in this region is vital to America's ongoing Pacific rebalance. This whole of government effort is based on a wide range of shared issues, including economics and trade, people-to-people -people ties, and security. This is an effort that I believe that Admiral Nimitz here would appreciate if he were with us today. 